I have a younger stepsister that I've been living with for 10 years now. I'm home. Welcome home. Mom said to heat up your own dinner in the microwave. Uh, sure. Got it. Mm. Ever since middle school, our conversations became less and less, and recently, our relationship was completely, uh, how shall we say, frozen over. Instead of a conversation, it's more like the bare minimum exchange of information. <sighs> well, I guess this is what siblings are like at the end of the day. When we were younger, I thought we used to play together a lot, but... We go to the same high school, but of course we don't go to and from school together. If anything, we don't tell anyone at school that we're even siblings. It's almost like we're just strangers with the same last name. Isazaki. And we're just living together because our parents got remarried to each other. And I assumed that from now on, this was going to be our relationship. But then one day... Tatsuya, can you go tell Yumino to get in the bath? <laughs> okay. I could just text her on my phone, but that's also a chore. And so I decided to go to my little sister's room, but... Yumeno, Mom said that the bath is empty. <sighs> Are you asleep? Even though I knocked on the door, Yumeno didn't respond. I didn't feel great about it, but I decided to open the door to Yumeno's room. You me- No? <sighs> Tatsuya, I love you. For a moment, I didn't understand what was going on. Through the crack in the door, I saw Yumeno staring at a photo that she took of me on her phone and getting lost in her thoughts. And so I quietly closed the door and left. Let's just pretend like I never saw that. That's what I wanted to do, but the scene I just saw was glued into my mind. What on earth was she doing? The next morning... Yumeno? What? Why are we going to school together this morning? We just happened to leave the house at the same time. That's all. I see. By the way, Tatsuya, uh, about last night. Last night? What are you talking about? Did you come to my room? No, I didn't go. Why? Hmm. Whatever. In that case, fine. There was no way that I could tell the truth. So I decided to keep pretending like it never happened. However, the fact that Yumeno was walking to school with me in a rare occasion like this must mean that she was suspicious of something. I tried to play it cool, but my heart was beating so fast I thought I might explode. <clears throat> By the way, we're almost at the station. So what? I, I thought that you don't want to be seen together, right? I don't care. But if you don't want to, then I can go over there. I also don't care. As usual, Yumeno was acting really cold, but she also didn't walk away from me. It was really awkward and confusing feeling. What on earth is going on in her mind? Tatsuya, I love you. <clears throat> no way. We ended up getting onto the train together, but... Tatsuya, do you have a girlfriend? No, uh, obviously, there's no way I could. Well, I guess that's true. You don't go out on weekends, and you're always playing games at home. <sighs> what do you want? Are you making fun of me because I'm not that popular? No, whatever. Well, what about you? I'm not interested in stuff like that anyway. <sighs> okay. Since middle school, Yumeno has been popular. That's her personality, but she's good-looking, so I'm sure the guys don't leave her alone. She says that she's not interested, but in that case, it makes me wonder. Then what was that yesterday? For the record, I will say a lot of guys ask me out, you know. Sure. What? Are you bragging? I'm not bragging or anything. Well, if some good guy shows up eventually, why don't you try dating them? Like I said, I'm not interested in stuff like that. Is that so? Plus, I don't really want to hear that from you, someone who's never been popular in his life. You always have to say something extra, don't you? She's seriously not cute. 
but then the train suddenly came to a harsh stop. Yumeno looked like she was about to fall over, so I quickly grabbed onto her. Hey, Yumeno, are, are you okay? Y yeah, but hey, uh, this is embarrassing. Let go of me. Uh, uh sh sh sure. But also, it's dangerous. So you need to make sure you're holding on to something. Uh, what just happened? You better not tell anybody at school about it. Why would I? After that, we both were silent until we got off the train, and it was an extremely awkward time. For me, I was stuck feeling confused again. That night, when I was reading a manga alone in my room, Yumeno came to visit. Tatsuya, the bath is empty, Mom said. Oh, okay. I'll go now. Uh, hey, do you have a minute right now? Hmm? What's the matter? Uh, about this morning. You didn't tell anybody, did you? Yeah, I didn't say anything. Y you better not say anything to anyone. Like I said, I didn't. Fine, I'm gonna go to sleep now. And then, after I got out of the bath and went up to the second floor... Hmm? Huh? Yumeno's room. The light's still on. I thought she said she was going to sleep already. Ever since yesterday, there were too many things that were bothering me about Yumeno. I wasn't trying to step foot into the fire, but I was concerned why she wasn't asleep yet. Oh, Tatsuya. Yumeno? You're still awake? Yeah, there was something that was bothering me a little bit uh, about this morning. You're so annoying. Like I said, I haven't said anything to anyone, and I don't plan on it either, so relax. It's not about that. Th thanks for helping me. What? Well, um, sh sh sure. I, I mean, it was, it was more of a reaction. Don't worry about it. Yumeno's face was blushing bright red. It was the first time I was seeing her like this, and I had no idea how to react, and I felt even more awkward. Th that's all I wanted to say, okay? Good night. Sh sure. Good night. She would suddenly get mad and then suddenly be sweet. <sighs> I seriously don't understand her at all. I didn't get her at all, but... Hey, Tatsuya! Do you know that freshman girl named Yumeno that's really cute? Huh? Where's that coming from? A few days later, during the lunch break, I was daydreaming in the classroom when suddenly, one of the guys in my class spoke to me. Not only that, but it was about Yumeno, and I didn't know what to say in response. Well, you have the same last name as her, don't you? I guess so. So, what about that girl named Yumeno? I heard this rumor about her that she's super popular. Apparently, even some of the juniors have asked her out. Interesting. So, is she your little sister or something? I was going to ask you to introduce me to her. Sorry. Eh, well, then, next time, I'm going to try to ask her out. Well, I'm sure he's just going to end up rejected. A boyfriend for Yumeno? Huh. Still, a boyfriend for Yumeno, huh? For some reason, I felt a pain in my chest. But also, Tatsuya, what are you going to do about college? I still haven't decided, but... Oh, that's right. Hmm? B what's the matter? Nothing, I was just... I was just thinking about something. I guess that's an option, too. Ever since that day she thanked me, Yumeno had been acting weird. Her attitude itself hadn't changed much, but I felt like she was trying to get involved with me more at home. But also, why do I have to play this with you? Because I've been curious about this game for a while now. Even though you don't even play games. Oh, I'm starting to get sleepy. <laughs> D hey, don't fall asleep on my bed, all right? Just laying down, that's all. Well, don't fall asleep like that. I won't fall asleep. <sighs> oh. And you are completely asleep now. Sheesh. Yumeno, hey, wake up. I'm tired from the after-school club, so take me to my room. Huh? <clears throat> she 
Sheesh. Why is the first time that I'm holding a girl in a princess hold this one? <sighs> but also, she's a lot lighter than I thought. So I ended up picking up Yumeno in a princess hold and carrying her to her room. I laid her down on her bed, but... Thanks, Tatsuya. I love you. What the hell? She's... she's sleep-talking. And so every day has been kind of awkward recently like this. In that case, it's more reason for me to leave home. After that, I discussed with both my parents and I told them that I wanted to go to college far from home and live by myself. Of course, I didn't mention anything about Yumeno recently. At the very least, I just said that college is something I wanted to attend that was far away and that the only option would be for me to live alone. My parents said that in that case, there was nothing they could do and accepted it. However, to go completely out of state would make me worry just in case anything were to happen. So I decided on Yuki University that was in the city over. By coincidence, that university had the major that I was most interested in, so it was perfect. Although my main goal was to get away from my family house and to get away from Yumeno. That is going to be harder than I expected, but let's do this. Hey, hey, Yumeno. Is the J named Tatsuya Isazaki your older brother? What? Um, why are you asking me about that person? If it's your older brother, there's a girl that says she wants you to introduce her to him. What? Uh, really? You know, Tatsuya isn't like all those other playboys around here. And he's seriously good looking. And I heard that lately he's actually studying really hard to get to a good college. Uh, is that so? Don't you think it's hot when some guys are working really hard towards something? I could totally understand why anybody would fall in love with someone like that. So this guy named Tatsuya, I wonder what college he's trying to go to. From what I heard, he's aiming for Yuki University. He must be really smart. Ever since he was little, he was hardworking and good at school. What? Uh, d did you say something? No, uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. I'm home. Welcome home, Yumino. You're late today. I had after school club. What about Tatsuya? I is he home yet? He says he's studying by himself at prep school. <laughs> Recently, it seems like he's really put on a switch. And he's studying really hard, that boy. <sighs> little by little, I felt something about my daily life shifting. I couldn't get rid of this confusing feeling inside of me, and yet only time kept passing. I was focusing on the task right in front of me. Time flew by, and I felt like I was being pushed by something because I was so busy. For a while, I thought days like this were going to continue, but... Then one day... Ah, oh, it's raining. I didn't bring an umbrella today. On the way home from school, when I was studying at the prep school by myself, all of a sudden it started raining. It's not that I couldn't get home, but I also didn't want to get drenched. I guess I can wait until it slows down a bit. Tatsuya. Yumeno, what are you doing here? Because mom said that you might not have an umbrella with you. Did you come all this way to bring me one? Yeah. Um, thanks. Th that's a huge help. On the way home, I had a conversation with Yumeno for the first time in a while. So, um, you're trying to go to Yuki University? Did you hear that from mom and dad? Yeah, well, you've always been smart since we were kids, so uh, I kind of get it. I guess so. Well then, that means you're going to move out and live alone, right? I guess that's what's gonna happen. Interesting. Living alone, huh? What's that supposed to mean, huh? Nothing. It's just that there is also the famous Alice University nearby. So I was wondering why you were moving out to live alone. Well, they have the major that I want, so... Is that really all? That's all. After that, we both fell silent until we got home. But, once again, it was really awkward. So, does Yumeno really... <sighs> no, 
I really shouldn't think about that. But then... Tatsuya! There's someone here for you! What? Who? Apparently, it's some freshman girl. She said that she wants to talk to you. One week after Yumeno brought me the umbrella, one of her classmates came to my classroom asking for me. She wanted to speak in private, so I followed her out of the classroom, but... My name is Aoba Arishima. I'm a freshman. Oh, sure. So, what is it that you wanted me for? I'm going to be straightforward. You are Yumino Isazaki's brother, aren't you? Oh, yeah, well... Actually, I only recently found that out. But also, it's because recently Yumino has been kind of... Kind of what? How do I say this? Will you please lend me your ear for a bit? Well, sure, I guess. And so? I lent my ear to Miss Aoba Arashima, but... I think she loves you. What? During every recess, she's always staring at photos of you on her phone. And when I confronted her about it, she confessed herself. Is that so? I was wondering why she was rejecting all those other guys who were asking her out, even though she was so popular. Did you come all this way just to tell me that? But also, can you please do something about it? I excuse me? Yumino's recently been very depressed, and it's a bad energy. Um, so you want me to do something about Yumino loving me? Well, yeah? So in order to make her not love me anymore... Hmm, let's see... To make her give up, then maybe I just need to get a girlfriend, which means... Oh! What? I'm gonna ask this, knowing that it won't work, but, um, Miss Albarashima? There's no way, no way! Impossible! Because I'm Yumino's friend, you know! So you can't pretend to be my girlfriend, huh? There's no way. First of all, there's a girl that likes you anyway. Uh... What? There's a girl that likes me? Yeah, I definitely can't accept that. And I don't want to hurt Yumino either. <sighs> well, I guess that makes sense. Anyway, for Yumino's sake as well, please face her and talk to her about it. But how am I supposed to ask her, um, hey, are you in love with me? Well, I did have a slight feeling about it, but... That night, after Arashima came and spoke to me, I decided to have a proper conversation about it with Yumeno. Hey, Yumeno. Do you, uh, have a minute? Yeah, what? Oh, I was, um, just wondering how school is recently, that's all. <sighs> I'm really bad at things like this. Wait a minute, did Alba say something to you? Um, uh, well, you know, um... That I'm in love with you? Well, if we're going to be straightforward about it, yes, it's about that, but... I see. Uh, didn't you realize it already on your own? I guess so. Although I didn't think it was real. After that, I told Yumeno what I saw through the crack on her door that day. Yumeno didn't flinch, and she listened closely to what I had to say. And then, when I was done, she let out a little sigh. I didn't really want you to find out, you know, but if I'm being honest, I love you, Tatsuya. Of course, not as a brother. So that was the case. Since when? I guess about second year in middle school. That's around the time when I went to high school and started to talk to you, Menno. You and I grew up as siblings, but we're not blood related, right? But if we've been living together for 10 years, then I guess maybe this counts as incest. And I thought that if I said it, you might be grossed out, so I couldn't really say anything. No, of course I wouldn't be grossed out or anything like that. You're really nice. So you say that for my sake, but there's no need for me to hide it anymore, so I'm going to say it. I don't really want to think of you as my brother. I want to be in a relationship with you. And ahead of that, I also want to get married to you. Imeno. If we've been living together for 10 years already, it's almost like we've been married anyway. 
even though I love you so much, too much, why are you trying to get away from me? Well, because you're being honest, I'll also be honest with you. I also love you, Yumeno. What? Oh, well then, why are you trying to leave? Please, just listen. Around the time I went to high school, I also realized that I liked you. But you're my little sister. And I'm the older brother, and I thought that I shouldn't have feelings like that. That's why when I found out about your feelings, they made me even more scared. Even though I already knew that I loved you, I felt like everything was going to fall apart. Tatsuya. And I thought that if I moved out, then we would have some distance, and eventually both of us would become logical about it. You are my precious little sister. That's what I want to think. That's why I chose Yuki University. But then suddenly, Yumeno jumped into my arms. Tatsuya! Hey, Yumeno! If we both feel the same way, then that's enough. Oh, I love you, Tatsuya. So stay with me, forever and ever. What could I do? How could I let a girl go who loves me this much despite the circumstances? My feelings were completely leaning towards Yumeno already, but... I'm sorry, Yumeno. Even still, I want to aim for Yuki University. What? The reason why I'm aiming for Yuki University isn't just because I want to get away from you. It's because there's genuinely something that I want to study there. What you want to study? Yeah, they have the technology department that I've always been interested in. And if I graduate from there, I'd be able to get a job at a good company. That's why, um, once my future is properly settled, then I want to properly settle with you. I can't wait for that. I won't right now. But were you listening to what I just said? Don't you get it? You're really popular with the girls, Tatsuya. And once you live alone in college, you get to bring home as many girls as you want. D -d Don't decide that for me. Uh, uh, all right. Well then, what do I have to do for you to trust me? Well then, kiss me. A lot. All right, fine. That's... Wait, what did you say? I said, kiss me. And that's the way lovers conceal their love. Whoa, 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 why are you suddenly becoming really needy? Because I don't have to hold it in anymore. If you're not going to do it, then I'm going to kiss you first. All, all right, all right, I said. And there are other things that I want to do when you become my boyfriend. What are you trying to do? There was no way that I could tell my parents what happened with Yumeno after that. However, we did have a proper conversation with them that we were going to date. Our parents are both understanding people, so they said that that's how we feel about each other. It's not a problem. I felt like all the confusion and awkwardness inside of me was instantly resolved. I was able to get accepted into Yuki University, and I was going to move out. Yes. Oh, pardon me. My name's Tatsuya Izazaki. I just moved in next door. I came in to say hello to my new neighbors. Thank you for the greeting. Oh my. And what about this girl? I am Tatsuya Isezaki's wife. <laughs> sister! My little sister, Yumeno. <laughs> oh my. What a cute little sister she is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, If you'd like, uh, this is for you. Come on. Why would you say that I was your little sister right there? Don't you think that a wife at this age is pushing it? And plus, if they knew that a college student had brought a high school student into their house... I don't think we need to worry too much about what other people think. Well, that might be true. But if you're going to live with me, then I'm not budging on that. That's right. Yumeno... Yumeno ended up moving in with me. It was going to be a commute to school for Yumeno, but it wasn't impossible with the train. And she forced herself into moving in with me. But now we get to be alone together, don't we? You better not tell anybody about this. I'm not going to tell anyone. Because if I do that, it would be a waste. Of what? We're siblings, but also dating. That's our secret. Isn't that kind of fun? You're a little devil, aren't you? 
But you're the one enjoying this the most, Tatsuya. And well, in this way, we decided to live together as siblings that were looking towards a bright future ahead. <laughs>